What was your relationship with Martin Luther King Jr.? Well, my relationship uh, with Martin Luther King Jr. has many sides to it. He was a uh, he was one of our early admission students. That is, the, the Ford Foundation uh, had some fellowships in order that the students might graduate before being called to war in the Second World War. And, uh, at that time, we had our own early admission program. So Martin Luther King Jr. entered Morehouse at the age of 14 and graduated at 18. Now, when I uh, spoke in chapel every Tuesday morning, Martin was always there, and he would come up and ask me something about the address, and I, I told him. So when he had a good big question to ask, I invited him to go to my office, and and if nobody was there, he could go in my office because I didn't make any difference whether it's a student or faculty. I took them as they came. And that morning, there wasn't anybody there. And I went into the office and talked with him further. And there I met the King family. He invited me to the dinner at his father's house. And from that moment on, we we became friends. My relationship with King uh, had many phases to it. What is your earliest memory of him? My earliest memory of him, as I indicated before, when he entered Mohawk at the age of 14. I did not, uh, I knew I knew his father, but really to become intimate with him, it was when he came to the chapel on Tuesday morning and and listened to my addresses. What was your... uh, and he stated that George Kelsey and Benjamin Mays changed his mind from being a lawyer to being a, a minister because he saw in us that the, that preaching could be mentally stimulating and emotionally satisfying. So that is my first real touch with him. And of course, as I indicated a moment ago, I... Uh, he graduated at 18. Then he earned a scholarship to, to Crozier. And he, he earned the fellowship from, from Crozier to go to Boston University. And he also took courses at Harvard. Well, after coming back to Atlanta, I had in mind that I was going to recommend him someday to be president of Morehouse when I retired. And, uh, but after he came back and worked with his father for a while, he wanted to be his own man and wanted to try his own wings. So he, uh, when he was ordained, I was part of the ordination ceremony. But when he got his degree, 
or when he's in the thesis stage, Sam Williams, who was in philosophy at Mohouse, uh, he and Martin started teaching a course in philosophy. And King, uh, it was then I thought I would make him su suggest to the Board of Trustees that he be my uh, successor. But I told you why that didn't pan out. 